Hey, this is Nick Millivoy from Premier Guitar, and I am here to talk about the Stumac Two Kings Boost Pedal Kit. Over the last year and a half, I have been learning how to build pedal kits, and mostly with the help of Stumac, I've built four Stumac kits. That includes the Sun Fuzz, which is the first one I built, the Ghost Drive, and the Light Cycle Phaser. Now, I've completed the Two Kings Boost, which completes my program of, of Stumac pedal building. The Two Kings Boost is Stumac's take on the legendary Analog Man King of Tone. That pedal is still available, but they are very hard to come by. So Stumac made this version that you can build for yourself. It delivers two stages of boost, overdrive, or distortion, and it pushes your amp in a uniquely dynamic, responsive, and most importantly, organic way. Basically, it sounds like your amp is doing most of the work. It sounds like an overdriven tube amp, and that's the best thing that anybody can say about a pedal like this. And since this is a kit that you'll be building yourself, it comes with an affordable price tag. So each of the Stumac kits that I've built so far offer their own challenges. I've documented that here in my other videos. Um, compared to the Sun Fuzz, the Ghost Drive, and the Light Cycle, the Two Kings has a much bigger part count. And that's the biggest challenge of this pedal. There weren't really any surprises, no different parts than those pedals. So I went into this project feeling like a pro. But this is a bigger pedal than those for a reason. You can, you know, there's two two switches here, more knobs. So getting all those components assembled onto the PCB takes a lot of time. Uh, this was the longest it's taken me to build a pedal yet. It took me most of a day to get the circuit board built. And then I came back the next morning to put it all together. And uh, luckily for me, this time around, um, it worked on the first try, which is, you know, not something I could say about the other pedals I've built, which was, you know, due to my own experience and inexperience as a pedal builder. So this time around, I felt really confident having all these parts. I wasn't scared off by it. I wouldn't start here. If, you, if you're if you thinking about building pedals for the first time, go with one of the other ones. The Sun Fuzz was, I thought was a great place for me to start. And I would say that's, that's, that's my recommendation moving forward. So here's what it sounds like. I gave it a little bit of slap back to get a good vibe going. You'll hear my clean tone. Then you'll hear just the left side that has less gain than the right side. And then you'll hear them both together and get a good sense of what this sounds like. So that's what the Two Kings sounds like. Like I said, it at this point, I feel kind of like a pro. Not really, I don't feel like a pro. I'm not about to start a boutique pedal company or anything like that, but I felt really confident about the building process. So there weren't any major hurdles. It was really just putting, putting the pedal together. Um, and if you're following along, you wanna follow along with me, do the, do the things that I didn't order. I think that's a great place to start with pedal building. That's where I've started. Um, and if you've been following along with my videos, you know that I started this process not knowing anything about pedal building. The only thing I really bought, brought to the table was a very basic knowledge of soldering, very basic. Um, I certainly didn't know the difference between things like a resistor and a capacitor, let alone what to do with them and, and what they might actually do within a pedal. So this process has taught me so much about pedals and I use these tools every day. It was really nice to learn about them. I think the Stumax kits are a great place to start. They're built for people like me. 
um, and maybe like you, they have the instructions walk you through the process. There's really good diagram, stuff like that. So I found it easy to follow. I actually finished this pedal a few months ago and this whole process has sent me into a total pedal building rabbit hole. Um, I kept building kits and I even built some strip board circuits that, that didn't come as kits and designed a simple fuzz circuit. So this is like set me on a whole path that I never expected to go on. I was happy just if I could build one pedal and come out of this with a pedal that I built that worked, I feel like I learned so much. And I, I did learn so much at that point, but I kept going. So four Stumac kits, and then I've just built all these other, other pedals since. In addition to learning how to build pedal kits though, I also got a lot of new pedals. So I mentioned the four Stumac pedals that I built and I wanted to do kind of a final project, kind of a tribute to these pedals. Maybe it's my pedal building thesis. I'm completing what I'm calling the Stumac pedal building course. I thought I would put together a track that uses all four of my pedal builds. So you're gonna hear the two Kings boost, but you're also gonna hear the Stumac ghost drive, the light cycle and the sun fuzz in this next track. <laughs> Well, thanks again for following along with my pedal building journey. You can check out the other videos, see what went into them. There were some tricky spots, so, you know, go check those out. This has been a really fun challenge, a really fun opportunity. And thanks again to Stumac for, for letting me give this a shot, even though, you know, to be honest, when I started out, I didn't know if I was even gonna be able to build one pedal. So here we are, four pedals later. Thank you guys for, uh, for helping me get through this. And I hope that uh, I hope that you build some pedals of your own. Um, if you do try one of your own, please be sure to drop us a note in the comments. Let us know how it goes. Let us know what you thought. <laughs>